Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. We're going to give you another bolo today. We're going to talk about advertising belt buckles. We've picked this area over others because it's easier to get into this area. Military buckles take some experience. They take some knowledge. They usually cost more to actually buy for you to resell. Same with uniforms, uh, like the rodeo buckles can go for thousands of dollars. So unless you know those areas, it's hard to play in those fields. Same goes for high and designer belt buckles in the clothing category. But advertising, I find more than anything else. We're going to show you some really nice examples of them right this moment. So here we are with belt buckles. Now, some are still going to be scarce. Some may still be made of precious metals and sterling but they all are advertising in some way, shape, or form. Some of these could be awards given out to employees also, but that all comes into the category of collectibles and advertising when it goes to list these items. This is by Bolin of Hollywood. They're a silversmith. This is a rather interesting one, probably custom made for Coca-Cola themselves. $512 on this one. Next one is the El Paso Natural Gas Company. These were, again, probably an award of some sort. They could have been made and sold to actually employees as well, just as some specialty item they could wear as well. $241, 18 bids on this one. Next one here is a John Deere Planting Seeds of Safety. This is an employee safety award. It didn't go for a ton of money, but again, 84 bucks is pretty good for a belt buckle you may have only spent a couple of dollars on. Another great example, so. Now the next one here is a KISS one. Any of these prismatic ones that are vintage are worth some good money. Pacifica is one of the major names that did these. Now this is just probably a knockoff of that. It went for $700. Some of the individual members of KISS, theirs go for a ton more money. This is like a Mexican knockoff the way it looks to me. KISS was good on advertising as were most of the 70s or so rock stars of the day. And they made belt buckles for most of them. I always look for those. Usually you can find these for a few dollars because most people don't realize either they're that old or that they carry a value. Another KISS one, $500, same manufacturer. It's the metallic in it that actually adds to the value. Now you got to watch out on some of these. Sometimes the actual metallic design will peel off on these. So just be careful. Genesis, same kind of thing. Hologram, the metallic reflective on it. You can see the back of it. And this is a Pacifica. These are the ones you want. These are from California. That's why the Pacifica name's in there. These all go for some good money. Pirelli. I believe this one may have been designed by Salvador Dali, if I'm not mistaken. $333. Another good example of this. So you can't knock it. Nice little logo down the back. Almond Brothers, again, another one of the Pacifica style. In fact, I think this is, a, yeah, it's another Pacifica. $330 on this one. Another Pacifica style, 1976. Now, this is an earlier style for them. It has a different style border than most of them. Now, Swan Song is the label that Led Zeppelin actually created and then released it. There's actually a song called Swan Song as well, too. So they used to be on Atlantic Records. So 150 bucks on this one. Now, the next one is tied to the rodeo, but it's not an award buckle. As I said, some of the award buckles go for a ton of money. This is advertising them. This is Heston. Most every one of these buckles goes for around three to five or six, seven hundred dollars even for some of these. These show up in regular bins of buckles or metal junk and brass and stuff. These do show up though. It's going to be hard pressed to find one of the award buckles, but this one is an advertising piece and these will show up. 560 on this one with 15 bids. Next one here is a very scarce one. This was given away to cast members who worked on the Quantum Leap TV show. States it on the back from 1990. Not something that's going to show up every day, but again, you never know. It only takes one or two of these. It didn't go for a ton of money because, again, they may have still made 1,500 of these belt buckles, so it may not be as scarce as you may think. Now, the next one here is a TSR buckle. Now, these could have been ordered specialty out of one of the catalogs. TSR, if you didn't know, came up with Dungeons & Dragons. Well-collected brand. Pretty much anything vintage TSR sells for some good money. The farther back they are, the better they will sell. 307 on this one. 
ELO buckles, nice group Pacifica as well. They probably would have went for more money if they were sold individually. Still, 245 bucks for three buckles isn't bad. Here's Diamond Truckers. This one's by Tiffany Studios. You will see some of these. Some of these were made to give away at company events and things like that. Some of these are fantasy pieces as well. So either way, it's a nice one. Trucker items like this sell in general $225. Next one here is another advertising piece. It's made to look like the actual logo off of a car. Lincoln Zephyr, a V12 engine. 230 bucks on that one. Next one is another Pacifica. 224 bucks for this Aerosmith one. Nice example. Another Pacifica. Again, these all go for some good money. 212 bucks on this one. Now here's Rolling Thunder Review. This is Bob Dylan tied, 1976. Just because they don't have the metallic doesn't mean they're not worth some good money. There are other brands as well that made these. You may have missed this one. You may not realize that this is Bob Dylan. But had you done a search real quick on Google, you would have turned up Rolling Thunder Review as a Bob Dylan item. So 150 bucks on this one. Sun Forever Elvis. This is a vintage one from the 70s or 80s, if I'm not mistaken. All of these go for decent money. They're not super rare, but they just don't show up. Elvis collectors don't part with these for the most part. $127 on this one. Then the next one is another Al Shelton. Now, he's the same one who designed the Quantum Leap one we've seen before. He did a lot of movie-related industry ones. This is the Stuntmen's Association. $128. Bucks. There was probably thousands of these made. So they're not super scarce, but they are still a very desirable piece with 12 bids on it. Now here's another Al Shelton from the Dinosaur Show. These show up. You will find stuff like this. Again, you may not find a Dino one, but you will find some that are Al Shelton. Because basically he made thousands of buckles for many industries, mostly for film related. They filmed all over the country, so you can find these anywhere in all honesty. At $175, bucks, they are not super pricey, so you could run into these. So don't blow these off as some scarce item from a TV show. You will turn up some of these. And the last one, just a lower value one, but again, any of these type can sell. Advertising, movie related, comic book related, they all sell. If this was Superman, it would go. No matter what these sell, 90s, 80s, 70s, and anywhere back from there, they do go for some good money. Nice example, well marked, same markings you would find on some of the trade cards and comic books of the era. And this one sold for $32.99. That's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. There's something else that we do look for. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Mm -hmm.